Hi, Gary. Hi, how are you? Great. I heard you guys have a curfew. Ah, uh, yes, we do. <laughs> like Cinderella and Prince Charming. <laughs> Minus the pumpkin and the carriage. Yeah, uh, but uh, we can't go anywhere. So what's the point of making it nine o'clock or whatever? But anyway, that's exactly. where we are. Yes. So Perth is the only place in Australia that uh, they don't have any cases, right? Uh, yeah, I think that's fairly accurate. That's really good, yeah. That's unheard of. I don't think anywhere else on the planet. Um, so interesting. Okay, so welcome, Veron. Was it easy to get on? Yes. Okay. mid-month did you uh, did any of you see the meteor shower uh, no I didn't yeah you couldn't go too far huh you're levitating there Veronica <laughs> hello Bernie what's there, what's there? I just asked if you were levitating. Levitating. Yeah, your image turned sideways. Right. Yeah, that's right. I was moving above. <laughs> Sorry. Because you don't have a green screen. <laughs> James. Welcome. Hi, James. Hi, how you doing? I saw you were testing the line earlier. Yeah, I was making sure it was working because the last week I had problems with it last week. Yeah. It seems so, to be working okay this week, so that's okay. good. I'll see you tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. for our team meeting. I may have a good work opportunity um, for you. I'll discuss tomorrow, okay? Please remind okay. me. Okay. All right, so did uh, James or uh, Bernice see the... Um, Meteor shower? No. No. I don't even know what, there was something going on. Sorry. Yeah, the meteor shower. I think it's still going on for a day or two. Oh, the meteor shower? One, one a minute, I think? Wasn't it like one a minute? Uh, well, I don't know the frequency, but it was for the whole week. Well, yeah, I didn't watch it. <laughs> you saw it? No, I heard about it, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it. Well, I didn't even hear about it. Vegas has the worst light pollution of the planet, probably. So <laughs> kind of hard from here. You really have to drive. <laughs> but anyway, okay. The stars are aligned, whether we see them or not. Yeah? Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> so let's do this exercise. It's been a while. Um, you know, a lot of networking these days is, is done in an hybrid version, yeah? Both online and, and or in person with protocols. And I have to say, it's really hard sometimes to, to understand what people are saying with the masks on, right? Because uh, especially if the people have an accent like me, you don't see the lips moving. So I find myself having to ask to repeat plus the volume is 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 becomes lower because it's muffled by the mask anyway but you know i think after a year and a half of pandemic uh we have had we've been so resourceful and adaptable and creative that we now probably um introduce ourselves differently <coughs> depending on um, the different needs of the market so uh, let's let's practice so that <clears throat> when we have a chance, whether it's an investor, a, a potential J joint venture, or affiliate, potential client, boom, we sound we sound very eloquent. So 
I will go. My name is Dr. Elena Pesini, doctor in uh, industrial organizational psychology, certified coach, and I am from Italy. And my passion is anything living being, especially their mind. There you go. Uh, and uh, let's go in alphabetical order, Bernice. Oh. Okay, so my name is Bernice Nemtsov. I'm from upstate New York. Uh, we have a weight loss and maintenance business right now. So that's our industry. My passion uh, is that to help people and I love doing that. And I get very excited when people get good results. But I also have another passion, which was always there and now is getting even more exciting. And that is that I was always able to uh, buy and sell my own single family home. And then I had more than one home and a few properties and selling that has been very exciting recently. And um, yeah, so do that's you, another passion. That's great. Do you use one of your homes as the facility for weight loss or is it all online? Yeah, we do know we have actually our uh, higher level clients um, come to the house. My, we have an office here right in the house. Um, and so the house that we currently are living in and if we move, if we're selling this, which might happen, uh, we'll move to another home where we go, we're going to have a similar setup because um, it's so cozy and nice when they can come over. I like to see them too. So Lovely. Okay. Are we invited? Oh, you guys are <laughs> so invited. But I have to tell you, the new house is going to be even nicer than this one. So all Hopefully. right i'll take you up on it eventually post pandemic whenever that will be um you're all welcome thank you darling very good and uh, mr gary i'm gary woodcock i'm from melbourne australia i'm a business systems consultant and take the time stress and challenges out of finding and implementing software solutions for our clients and my passion is the provision of clean water housing and education solutions for communities in need. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. How's that going? Um, with uh, slowly, with slowly. Uh, I've just uh, it's financial at the moment. Uh, maybe a little bit more personal when uh, we can get to travel. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. 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 So when you, um, yeah, that's interesting because there was rumors that uh, COVID was found in water, but, um, but that doesn't make any sense because when you ingest something, I mean, COVID is through um, respiratory. So I don't know, Dr. Divke will tell us, but yeah. Good job, Gary, very nice. And so Dr. Divke, um, Divgi, is it Divgi or Divgi? Sorry, Divgi. I'm having a blonde moment. No problem. <laughs> is it D? Dr. D? Uh, Dr. D, uh, we are reviewing our elevator pitch. Okay, so we haven't done it in a while. Uh, go for it. Hi, I'm Varada Divgi, a retired physician from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, my passion right now is gardening and also focusing on aging gracefully and purposefully. Beautiful. Thank you so much and welcome back. James. Yeah, my name is James Siner from Las Vegas, Nevada. I do music marketing and, uh, and performing when I can. And my passion is writing and, and creating music and singing. What I love to sing and that's what I like to do the most. Nice. Very good. And he does create wonderful music for the You've Got the Power Companies. Thank you, James. And uh, Veron. Oh, I'm Veronica Wetton from London. I'm connecting uh, investors with uh, investment properties in London and also net equity investment in natural resources in South America. Great. 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 Very nice. 
Um, on your um, mic is a little muffled, but we, we heard most of it. Okay, and the last but not least, um, everybody went, right? Yeah, okay, okay, that's it, good job. Okay, so um, let's go in a breakout room. One person will do it with me and share at least one win from last session and anything that maybe you want to repeat this this next this week uh, or finish maybe maybe there isn't anything but let's see where we are at and um, <clears throat> all right and go uh, bernice stay here with me Dr. Divki, you join you join the breakout room, okay? What's happening? Uh oh. Uh, okay, okay, good, good, good. I thought it was my internet. Okay. <laughs> Because you know, I've been traveling for three weeks and you never know, like the, you would think in the 2021 by now, the internet, especially on the West Coast is perfect everywhere, but you'll be surprised, even in fancy hotels. <laughs> you look great, Bernice. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Okay. So my win? <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Um, trying to think. You know, we're just so excited. So much is going on. Yeah. You know, the market got really good all of a sudden. Yeah. And then the real estate market. And so we uh, decided to sell another property that we had. That was my former home, but I was renting it out. And, you know, the house that I live in now, I built, we built it from scratch. So we're very proud of it. But there were a lot of mistakes because it was my first time and I didn't know. Um, and so we have a buyer for the other one. And people said to me, and the broker said to me, you'll never get that price. It was very high, but I did it. And all the brokers are like texting me, you know, yeah. because we, we got such a good price for it. And they were like, congratulations. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's, you know, um, I think my win really is a very personal win. Yeah. I think I'm learning... Um, I don't have to correct all the time, yes. you know, because I'm the oldest child yes. and I was the family hero and all these things, it, it created in me this feeling of, oh, I have to teach everybody everything. And I think my win is that I'm really starting to practice that I don't have to fix. I, you know, I can just listen, hear what the other person is saying, and I don't have to offer an advice to them especially if they're not paying me for it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Good for you. Little Drawing life lessons. Confidence. <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. Great. Bravo. So, you know, and I also wanted to uh, speak to you about, um, you had asked me a while ago about uh, speaking on the Enneagram. And you should know I was post-surgery. I was a mess. My head was crazy, but I wrote up a whole thing within two days. <laughs> so if you ever want that to be done as a mastermind, I have it all written up. It's all finished whenever you're ready for it. I would love for it. I would love for it. Yes. I always, um, I'm always looking for fun topics to expose cli clients to, and then can be good um, promotion for you. Would you send me like a, a, a a quick draft outline or what you would like you could yes you have to be edited how do i where do i send it to do you have my email i'm not sure i think i have uh let me have a one that i can reach you at yeah sure 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 i'll, I'll put it here in the okay um, perfect 
and they all go to the same place even if you have oh a, okay uh, yeah i'll just give you my gmail who's a little faster burning absolutely mm -hmm. Pizzini. good Great. Thank you. Very nice of you. Oh, yeah. It was so funny. You see that when you love to do something, yes. it doesn't matter what the obstacle is. I was on painkillers. I was post-surgery. I was everything. And I just right away did it <laughs> and got it done. And it helped you, right? Uh, yeah, because, you know, you get out of your head a little bit. Yes. Fun. It's called Enneagram. Enneagram? I think some people pronounce it Enneagram. Yeah. Enneagram. So, yeah. Everybody's okay. back. Well, welcome back, everybody. Bernice is going to do one mastermind with <laughs> us on Enneagram. I'm announcing it. Oh. Um, it's <laughs> probably going to be in a couple of months. Okay, very good. Good job, everybody. Bravo. Give yourself lots of love. And today I wanted to do something special. Okay, so today's, today, uh, this week's topic, what the heck? One second. You see my last pass that popped up? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, it didn't, <laughs> didn't pop up too far. No. Ay, ay, ay. Technology. What can you do? All right. Okay, here we go. Um, today, we are going to cover relations, which is anything, okay? It can be a professional relation, personal. It can actually be the relationship with yourself, it can be a relationship with your environment, you know, plans. I don't know what happened to Michael. He should be on it. Um, but, you know, any, I'm doing a lot of gardening. Uh, animals. Uh, it can also be um, the relationship with your child self, inner self, and um, like a, a relationship with the clients, partners, joint ventures, potential clients, and even and even like investors. Okay, so any type of relationship. And before we get there, I wanted to do a little visualization. So I'm going to mute you. And since we don't have any music um, for today, James, we need to work on that, okay? Make, make a mental note um, for these visualization exercises. You want me to throw my guitar? Um, for, for the future, it will need to be recorded. So I upload it so you can actually follow the exercise. Uh, so we'll do it for next time, okay? Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I want you to do the exercise with everybody. I'll do it with you guys. Thank you. So relax. Take some long, deep breaths in. And out. Good job. Let go of any stress, any busyness, any obligation, any doubt. Let it all go in the vastness of the universe where energy that is neutral can be recycled for a better purpose, the purpose of your growth and advancement. All right, so I want you to imagine yourself as a child, okay? As a child anywhere from one till 12, before teenage, teenager years, okay? Go ahead and imagine that beautiful girl, that handsome boy, and once you have it, nod your head, yes. Good job. And now, 
I want you to imagine that beautiful and handsome child running towards you and giving you the biggest hug you have had in your life so far. That's right. That child who is you is full of joy, excitement, fun, happiness, and whisper something to you in your ears while giggling. That's right. So imagine now having a short, fun, happy conversation with that child version of you that you are encountering again with lots of happiness and joy. Imagine what you're talking about. Imagine where you're at. It's a very inspiring surrounding, full of colors, fresh, fragrant scents. That's right. And now that child version of you is offering you something to taste and savor. What is it? You love it. What does it taste like? What does it smell like? Great. You now hear some very pleasant sounds all around you. What sounds are they? Is it the sound of the weather? Is it the sound of the wildlife? Or perhaps city life? Or maybe a vacation resort? Well, the child version of you is now ready to go back and play with his friends and her friends. So gives you one more big, 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 big hug and kiss and says one last thing in your ears. Remember that. And there she he goes, running away with fun and happiness. And you now have the same level of fun and happiness inside of you. And with that innocent, childlike energy, you now open your eyes and you do your fun journaling, your relationship goals, short-term and long-term. Don't hold back, stay creative and fun and go.
Good job. Okay, let's take a couple of shares. Who wants to share? Dr. Varada, I would like to uh, volunteer you. Yeah, I think um, that was nice. Um, I am from Mumbai, which is a coastal city. And walking on the beach or along Marine Drive, which is called a Queen's Necklace, uh, that you're walking right along the Arabian Sea. It's really fun during the monsoon rain. Um, and that is where we met. It was fun to listen to the monsoon, listen to the sounds of the ocean waves, uh, smell the sea. And also there's usually a person um, roasting the corn and the cob. And they put the lemon and the salt and pepper. And um, that's what we shared and enjoyed. Okay, great. And what kind of relation would you like to work on next? Uh, do activities together. I would explore and nourish my inner child. To, together with? Uh, no, myself. With yourself, okay, very good. Good job, good job. Reconnecting, journey. beautiful. All right, we'll hold you to that. Yes. Nice. And let's hear from a gentleman. I can. Mm -hmm. um, so my journey took me back to uh, where I lived. Uh, we lived in a, an old house that was on part of a farm um, and it was just the first it's the first memories that I have of my childhood. Um, and then there was a few different things that popped into my head. Um, and uh, when the interesting one was when you mentioned the food, uh, the first thing that came to my head and it was supposed to be pleasant was durian. And I don't know why that occurred. Durian, but, uh, I love it, very nice. So, uh, yeah, that was a little surprising, but uh, look, and then the message that came out of that was something that I'd heard recently, so I'm not sure how they all tied together, and the message was, see the fear and do it anyway. So, from a, from a short-term and long-term focus, um, the short-term is to check in with family and friends, see how they are at the moment. We've just had another dose or in another dose of extended lockdown with some curfews. And from a long-term perspective is, is for myself uh, to see the fear and do it anyway. Yes, beautifully, beautiful. Thank you for the great message. Very nice, Gary. Thank you. Excellent. Good job, everybody. You'll all get a chance to share next. Give your inner child lots of love. Okay. And so with that beautiful energy that you, that you carry forward, that now you tapped back into, okay? That beautiful, handsome, childlike, innocent, playful, creative energy, then you're going to... Um, inspire, what's the word? Um, you're going to inspire others. You're going, it's going to be <laughs> contagious, yeah? So you're gonna convey it on to others. So whomever you come into, um, uh, run into, okay? Come, um, come to play with. So, Let's see, let's see what that great energy can do, can do for you in your life with the people around you and loved ones, okay? Now that you're reconnected with it. So let's go back into the breakout room. You're gonna do it with a, a new partner. 
okay? And one person will do it with me, so. All right, Gary, stay here and go. Dr. Divgi, join the breakout room. Blue button. Can you see it? Uh oh. You frozen? Okay, <laughs> all right, sounds good. I think you have to be a bit creative now, right? With all of these curfews, especially. Yeah, yeah. Um, and look, the first thing is just checking in on people. Um, nice. It's something that uh, I've probably done a fair bit of, um, but it's time to do a bit more of a ring around. Um, I had a chat with someone yesterday and while we're doing, uh, we're working on a project, both of us are working on a project for a client, the conversation was quickly redirected to how we were and, and, and everything seeing the announcement just came out yesterday. But um, yeah, so I've got, I've got a lot of family that are outside of Melbourne, so that's good. They they were opened up last week, so there's no restrictions there. But it's uh, there's uh, the immediate family that's around Melbourne, and then some other people that I do some work with, and being on members and friends and stuff to keep track of. So yeah. That's, and and look. What it, what it does for me, it's just that satisfaction that I'm keeping in touch and I'm offering assistance if anyone needs anything. So that's the, that, that's the, that's the win out of that. It's the relationship and making sure that uh, we're there to li um, listen if there's challenges. Uh, not a great deal that we can do, but uh, listen and talk and direct and that type of thing. Yeah. Okay. So those are all personal contacts, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. So that was the aim of that. And then for myself is just to bite the bullet, see that, yes, I have a challenge there and just work through it anyway. Um, hmm. Yes. Yeah, because clients, they usually let you know if there is a problem, right? Are you correct? Uh, look, yeah, there's, there, and some of them, uh, uh, yeah, look, there's a few. I know a couple of clients are, are, doing, very well, are doing very well at the moment with where things are at. Um, others, um, yeah, I think most of them are still working. One's... One's got, uh, they're juggling people in the office and out of the office and backwards and forwards and the like. So, um, they're, and so they're the ones that have put things on hold. Um, but uh, yeah, others are, yeah, this, there's another one in particular that I will include with that. Um, so I'll add a couple of had clients to my list as well. Okay. Okay, that sounds nice, very nice. And I think that we'll appreciate it that uh, you personally, you personally are doing the checking in instead of outsourcing it to. <laughs> but look, yeah, and yeah, that's, yeah. Out outsourcing check-in doesn't quite work. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, for these things. Yeah, exactly. It's one of those. It's one of those things that you have to do yourself. And and uh, I've I've regularly done it at different times, and I'll I'll do a group of them, and then I'll let it go for a little while. Um, yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Excellent. Okay, very nice. I'm glad. Enjoy that. And you never know what could come up from it, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, actually, I, actually, I do have one client that does does need a call. Um, so I, I did attempt to touch base with them last week, um, but I'll make sure I add them. I uh, follow that through again this week. Beautiful. Great. Good job. Good job. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> okay, how's uh, Dr. Divgi's internet? Seems a little slow. Did, who, uh, did you, who I was in the breakout room with her, but we were and we were talking, so I yeah. heard everything, and I think she heard everything. So, okay, hmm. okay let's strategize how we're doing it. This new um, way of interacting, you know, with people during COVID. And we, or with your own self, yeah. So I'm sure I'm sure things have changed for 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 everybody um, because we didn't have this challenge before. This is a new challenge, so it brought up different different parts of us. I think so. You know, some people have adapted better or faster than others, but. Everybody's on their own journey. We're not there to judge, we're there to support them, especially if we care about them, yeah. So maybe there are some new, new ways to, um, to interact that can bring a little more joy, less stress, more confidence, um, more calm, yeah. Um, yeah, does that make sense, everybody? Okay. So. So mastermind with your inner child, with your inner child right now, solo, you can use the chat box and think of new ways to interact with yourself and or others that um, you have not utilized yet that can bring more bliss, more, more um, serenity, yeah? And go.
Good job. Who's ready to share? So Baron says callig calligraphy and painting and dancing, great ways to connect. Uh, James painting, more zooming. Yeah, and you got the power of music, James. So use it, use it. Uh, Bernice, breathe, very nice. Yeah, especially now during COVID. <laughs> um, great, great, yes. That's a good practice, not to interrupt. Yeah, I can work on that one myself. Varada, music, dance, bright paint, great. And what about for you, Gary? You want to share out loud? Ladies. Um, I think it's just the old fashioned phone call where I'm just asking the questions and being prepared to listen. Um, so it, for me, it was reaching out to, to uh, family, friends and clients and, and people just to see how they are in the current circumstances it's that time we've, yeah. we've had another we've had another or well, a setback with an extended lockdown so um yeah the time is just to make some calls contact some people listen to see how they are and offer assistance where i can yeah makes sense okay beautiful enjoy those in the basement. Yeah, very nice. Well done, everybody. Enjoy, give yourself lots of love. Love always prevails, other than fear. Um, decisions made out of love are always the right decisions, yeah? Yeah, I see all sorts of stuff happening on social media, people befriending others because they're vaccinated or not vaccinated or, you know, those extreme views never, never help anybody or themselves. We just have to be more understanding. All right, so what's gonna be your first action? I want you to look at your calendar and tell me what you can do when. So um, please take a look and then write it in the chat box and start. Thank you. 
Good job. So I'm curious, James, where do you go on long walks with this three digit heat without getting burned? I'm gonna go about seven in the morning at the latest, at the latest. <laughs> if I don't go before seven, it's too hot. Yes. Yeah, I'll try to maybe even earlier, maybe even earlier. Yeah, there's some good trails around Pacoli Ranch by Tivoli Village. Yeah. Up there. You're uh, a morning person. Excuse me? You're a morning person. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> That's where we have to go. Back and forth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And Dr. Divgi, in the rain, um, is it rainy over there now in Georgia, Atlanta? Wow. Excellent. We get thunders here. But, um, okay, good. That sounds lovely. Hopefully it's um, refreshing rain. Um, okay, good. So let's see. Uh, Bernice, th those are great. Breeding techniques are great. Um, that's something I also need to improve. I, uh, in yoga, yeah, my yoga teacher, she gets on me because sometimes I don't do it correctly or often I don't do poses correctly. <laughs> and uh, she will, by the way, she will be uh, hosting, co-hosting the mastermind in October, my birthday mom for all of you. She's um, 68 and looks like 38. So she'll tell you all her secrets, but breathing is a huge part of it. So you nailed it. Uh, again, I'm not a master, but I'm working on it. Okay, sounds great. Um, you know mine, Veronica, that sounds lovely. Enjoy. Ah, uh, okay. Are you gonna be safe, Dr. Ditke? Yeah, okay. All right, you got, you got the tower garden, right? Just in case to feed off, you won't, you won't uh, get out of foods and nutrients. Okay, sounds good, my friends. Good job, everybody. Way to go. Pat yourself on the back. This deserves some great rewards. So follow COVID protocol. Maybe they're just for yourself or maybe you can share them with others. Okay, what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Yeah, for me, um, Take a moment, here's some ideas. I think for me it's gonna be the forest. Dr. Divgi, uh, watch a program, nice. Yeah, see if you can catch the last um, day or two of the meteor shower. Okay, Bernice, send it to everybody, uh, nearby lake, that sounds lovely. I'm so excited. Good job. Great, so remember um, to, um, you can bring family, friends, relatives, partners to these calls um, as well, okay? You did really good, I'm very proud of you. Sounds good, Gary. And I hope you're proud of yourself, your adult self and also your child self. Make it a great, third week of this powerful month, my friends. If you need anything, we are here. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I'm, I'll be around, okay? Take good care. Bravo. Ciao, belli. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Good job. Enjoy. Enjoy your actions and rewards. See you next week. Yes.